Well, just like that, here we are live once again here on the show. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, David Burroughs, here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Somebody said to me, uh, why do you say it like that? Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. We know you're in Sarnia, David. Well, there's a large audience watching here today from all over the planet. And happy to say our broadcast today is being simulcast throughout the world uh, through some different Facebook hubs, if you will. Uh, we are live in Australia. We are live in South Africa. We are live in the United Kingdom. Uh, I think Ireland's in there, Nigeria, and all throughout the United States, and of course Canada as well. So that's why I say here in a little town of Sarnia, Ontario, coming to you live from my home studio. And uh, Joy Ruffin, hey, how you doing out there, Joy? Thanks so much for joining here today. One of the great things about live streaming, and uh, just before we get started on a few events that I, I will promote here where I live, is the vision of the show is to connect other communities to our community through the power of live streaming. There's so many great people on this planet right here in Serenia Lampton. Certainly, uh, I kind of like it a little more than the rest of the world because I live here, but that's fair to say, right? Joy says, uh, global, love it. Yes, absolutely. Global love coming from Joy. Thanks so much, Joy. I appreciate it. And Joy, where are you? Um, speaking of global love, what city are you in? I can't remember. If you want to just tell us where you're at, so give people an idea uh, who we're broadcasting to beyond no borders here. We are one big city now. Good to be with you as well, Joy. Thanks so much. Again, if you just take a moment and uh, type in and tell us where you're from. Florida. Ah, oh, there you go. Fancy Florida. What's the what's the temperature down there? It's about uh, twenty something here. Let's just let's just see what Siri has to say about the weather. It's warm. Yeah, it's twenty eight degrees. We're up twenty eight degrees Celsius. So even though we are in Canada, we do get warm weather here in Canada. Just so you know, uh, just not all the time like Florida would. <laughs> Hey, Alfredo's out there as well. Hello, Alfredo. Thanks for stopping by. I, Alfredo's in California, right? So I know my friend Stephen Healy, who would be watching, but it's it's probably close to his bedtime, 8 o'clock. He's in the United Kingdom. Uh, and one of my guests today is also in a different part of the world. So it's fantastic. So what I've done is taken the show <clears throat> that was strictly all about Serenia Lampton. I'm making it local about Serenia Lampton and local about somebody else in the world too, connecting our community. So uh, you get the idea. Uh, great having you here. One of the things that I do like to ask for selfishly, that made you, oh, <laughs> I better put that up. That made me laugh. It's warm yet, nothing fancy about it. Yeah, well, you know, it depends where you're staying, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Um, I forget what I was saying, because Joy, it's okay, Joy. I don't have a script. I should probably have a script. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got three guests coming up today. Really excited about we're going to talk about some transportation and we're going to talk about supporting a local organization called Noel's Gift. And we're going to talk esports as well. My new friend, Andrew, is going to join us as well. So uh, but first, I've got a couple of things that we're going to talk about here. Um, what's happening? There we go. I'm producing and directing and doing everything all at once. So uh, if things go wrong, it's, yeah, it's my fault. Uh, there's a coffee break that started uh, a couple of weeks ago, first Friday down. Uh, it was held down at Bad Dog here in Sarnia in support of the Alzheimer's Society here in Sarnia Lampton. And you know how you donate a toonie and you get a little, well, you get a little paper coffee cup and put it up on the wall. It's also all to support uh, the Alzheimer's uh, Society here in Sarnia Lampton. Many families, uh, including I've been, uh, not myself, obviously, but directly in my family uh, uh, dealing with Alzheimer's. So uh, happy to support them as well. And they've got a coffee break coming up on Friday, um, September the 21st. We'll be at the Superstore, and I'll be broadcasting live. Uh, they're going to have hot dogs and stuff like that. The Superstore has jumped on board. They're donating all the hot dogs. So all the proceeds. There will be different locations throughout the city, not just in Sarnia, throughout all of Sarnia Lambton. Uh, that you can stop by and make your donations. Again, a coffee break day in support of the Alzheimer's Society. And we always like to give a shout out to our friends at the United Way, Sarah Neil Lampton, supporting uh, Dave Brown will correct me, 34 or 35 organizations that are local here in Sarah Neil Lampton. And the great thing about the United Way, at least what I really like, one of the things about them, their small team of five works very, very hard to create all these events that happen to support 
um, these 34, 35 organizations, five people working hard to raise $2 million. $2 million is their goal again uh, for this year. And Dave Brown joins us once a month here on the show. So he'll be coming up uh, at the end of the month here. So uh, looking forward to what he has to do. And all the money stays right here in Sarnia Lampton. Uh, last week, we had our friends from uh, the Workplace Group, a uh, local organization that helps people uh, find jobs and specifically people people with special needs, right? So that can be challenging. Uh, so Nolene and her team joined us here last week. If you want to find out more, or if you want to find out more about the job site, there it is on your screen. Just go to the workplaceconnects.ca. I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm going to put this full screen for just a minute so you can have a look at that. There's a new, new place downtown. Um, in the executive rooms downstairs, it's called the Hog Bar, and it's from uh, the owners of the Smoke and Spice uh, restaurant here out at Lampton Mall. But they've got their 85 cent wings. I love wings. 85 cent wings is great. Whatever happened to the days of 10 cent wings? Yeah, that was 30 years ago, right? <laughs> 85 cent wings now. But they're having a Smash Brothers contest. So if you're a gamer and you want to play, Get on down there Wednesday night. They're looking to see who is the champion um, Smash Brothers player, I guess. And they've got some specials on. They're, they're giving away some stuff as well. Oh, Joy, thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment. She says, doing swell. It is not easy doing it all yet. Many of us do it. Don't know if I ever get the hang of it, even so love it to do. You know what? I'm a man, so I have a, an excuse for not being able to multitask. All right? You don't have that excuse today. <laughs> us men do not know how to multitask. Uh, so get on down there uh, Wednesday night. Actually, I think I'm going to go down, check out the wings and, and enjoy that and see this what the Smash Brothers uh, is all about. Harvest Fest is also coming up in Petrolia. Um, this is a delicious time to get out to. Coming up September the 22nd, uh, the Petrolia Farmers Market puts us on and it starts at 5 o'clock. You can get tickets um, at the local town hall there for this. It just It's all made from farmer's market food, so it's all local grown food, right? So, and the chefs come out and they make it all up and you won't leave hungry and it's delicious, 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 right? It's very, it's very good. I can't make it this year. I'm really bummed, <laughs> but I've been in the past and it's delicious there. By the way, all this stuff, <clears throat> pardon me, all this, all these things that I talk about here on the show, if you don't catch it right now, <clears throat> you can always go back uh, and rewind uh, in the replay. And I also post all these links and all these posters and everything uh, in the comments below. So if you're not taking notes and you don't remember live, don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh, yes, our, our friend Kelly Shadi. Shadi, I believe he taught me his name earlier today on a show that I did with uh, Stephen Healy. And we weren't sure. It's German, right? But he lives here in Sarnia with me. Uh, we doesn't, sorry, he doesn't live with me. He lives here in the same city that I do. Let's make that. <laughs> you never know. People didn't start. That's how rumors get started. Uh, I'm from cold country Canada, the land of polar bears and mooses, but from the warm end of it. Yes, yeah, Sarnia, Ontario. Thanks for stopping by, Kelly. I appreciate you. Joy, you make a lot of those, uh, you use emojis or whatever um, a lot, right? I think that's cool. I got to start uh, I gotta start using that. Somebody else out there, maybe it's you, or maybe it's Aaron Strayer. Put the check marks and everything in the post. I got to start doing that. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> We're just, uh, if, I'm, if I'm a little distracted looking over here, it's because uh, I'm trying to, we had to rearrange some guests that were coming on at 345 um, and last minute had to change somebody else. Anyway, I'm busy over here, so I'm not ignoring anybody. But it's a fun thing I like about doing live. See, I used to do the show recorded and I would sit down in front of my camera and I'd record it and I'd edit it and put it all together. And it was great. And I did 330 episodes like that. I'm pretty proud of that fact. But doing live is so much more fun because things can go wrong. And when they go wrong, <laughs> it's okay because it's live. Joy uh, can uh, attest to this for sure. Um, Joy, we're going to have to get you on a show again. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. I've met so many great people through live streaming and doing it live. 
uh, that I'm so grateful. We're actually, when we go on vacation, we're going to be stopping in uh, several places, but we're going through Cincinnati, and I've got some friends in Cincinnati that I've met through live stream, and we're going to be stopping somewhere, Newport or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Good thing Jennifer does all the planning for that. But we're going to meet some people that we've met online, and we haven't. We're actually going all the way to Louisiana, so my son can meet one of his friends that he met online like four or five years ago, and they've become great friends. And we're going all the way to Lafayette, Louisiana for that. It's incredible. Anyway, uh, Harvest Fest coming up September 22nd. Make sure you check that out. You know, the end of the Good Shepherd, I think uh, here in Sarnia, if you know the end of the Good Shepherd, I think the first thing that comes to mind is food. They need food. Well, of course, they always need food. Everybody always needs food. And that's one of their main objectives for sure. Miles Vanny, who joins us here regularly, taught me a few years ago. Um, it, it, imagine an empty swimming pool, a 20 by 40 swimming pool. And they have to fill that with food every month. 40,000 pounds of food needed every month here in Sarnia Lampton. So that's a big deal. But they also have other services that they provide. How to pay your taxes, help with hydro bills. Um, some of the basic stuff that you and I would take for granted, the Inn of the Good Shepherd provides. They have about 34, 35 services that they provide to people in Sarnia Lampton. And we talked last week, we had Miles on here, and it's not... There's a bit of a stigma attached to that of the type of person that might need that. You might be surprised who in our community or your community is using a service like the United Good Shepherd. So keep that in mind. The support that they need is definitely ongoing. And of course, Christmas time is a busy time for them. People reach a little further into their hearts and wallets at Christmas time, but it's needed all year round. And one way you can do this now, Subway here in Sarnia has come on board to support uh, their brown bag lunch. And you can go online to the insarnia.ca and order. You get a, don't quote me, you get a sandwich and some fruit and a drink uh, and a cookie. I love Subway cookies, by the way. If you don't want your Subway cookie, I'll take it. Uh, you can order and then pick your lunches up on October the 2nd. And it's all in support of the end of the Good Shepherd here. This is the second annual that they've done and Subway jumped on board this year. Huge supporters. They're donating it all. So, 100% of the proceeds goes right back to the end of the Good Shepherd. So kudos to Subway for doing that. And I'm, I've already ordered a bunch. You should order some too if you're here in Sarnia. And if you live in another part of the world like Florida and you want some Subway sandwiches, send me your 10 bucks. I will go and order it for you and then I'll mail it to Florida for you. Okay, Joey, how about that? All right, maybe Alfredo will take one in California too. All right, we're having fun. Uh, we had Paula Hale McKinley on here last week from the Cancer Society talking about their walk run that's coming up. They desperately need some more teams for this. It's only like 30 bucks. Uh, so if you're a walker or a runner, or maybe you could get somebody to uh, pull you in a wagon or something. I don't know, just get there. Uh, they need your support as well. And September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, just to make that note so you can find out more. Again, all these links will be available uh, on my Facebook page after the show. I'll post all this stuff there in case you miss it. Flavors and Favors is coming up also in support of uh, the Cancer Society. I'm going to be the MC there and the auctioneer. This is my third year doing this, being an auctioneer. Wow. Talk about learning. Anyway, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that as well. So uh, check that out on our page. Sting fans, hockey fans, OHL fans. Um, we've had the preseason of the Sarnia Sting already. One good one, one bad one. We don't have to talk about it, though. It doesn't matter. It was preseason exhibition. It doesn't count. <laughs> Everybody's on the ice and feeling each other out, and the coaches are trying to figure out who should play on what line. The fans are excited. I've been to the two uh, preseason eras I broadcast from those games, and i got to tell you, it does feel kind of funny because it was like 28 degrees and I was going to a hockey game, yeah, in a suit and tie, warm. It was warm in the arena, put it that way. But that just means that uh, hockey season is upon us. And the home opener for the Sarnia Sting, taking on the Flint Firebirds, big rivalry there, because last year the Flint Firebirds way down at the bottom of the pole as far as rankings go. But they gave the Sarnia Sting, they were a thorn in the Sting side last year. So definitely a rivalry created there. I have two tickets that I'll be giving away for the home opener coming up on Wednesday. We'll start a contest to give those away on my Facebook page. So 
keep an eye out for that. All right. Sting fan. If you're a Sting fan from Serena, type it down below so I know. And um, oh, Alfredo, what we got out here? Love the way you run your show, David. Oh, thanks. Well, it's all about community and it's all about positive, right? I used to do a little bit of news stuff and then I was like, you know what? That's just not, just let the other news people do that. That's not me. Alfredo's talking to us. What's he saying? We have a monthly event, food and clothes at the Southside Christian Church every second Saturday. Cool. Um, if you're in that area with Alfredo, that's awesome. Here we are connecting communities together, communities all over the world connecting with each other, right? Enjoy it. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, my first guests are in the lobby, and we're getting ready to talk with them. Age-friendly. Now, what do you think of when you hear age-friendly? Uh -huh. I have a pretty good idea what you're thinking of. Uh, but we've got some guests here that are going to join us uh, in just a moment. We're going to bring them on, representing age-friendly and the city of Sarnia. And a special transportation day, and they're in the lobby. And here's the countdown. And there we are, Dale Mosley and Laura Greaves. How you doing? Good. Hi, David. Thank you for last minute rush getting to get, getting this all together and making it work. <laughs> you definitely owe us a coffee. Well, Bill owes us the coffee. Let's tell him yeah. that he owes us the coffee. I guess maybe Bill got What's that? Maybe a Subway cookie. A Subway cookie. I'll take everybody's Subway cookie if they don't want it, for sure. <laughs> Um, Dale, um, Dale Mosley here joining us, folks, and Laura Greaves from the city of Sarnia. I'm just going to, uh, we're going to talk about age friendly and then, of course, the transportation day. But first, uh, Dale, tell us who you are, what you do, and then uh, let's go over to Laura and she can describe herself as well. Well, with the city of Sarnia, I'm the accessibility coordinator and um, I'm also responsible for the age friendly project. All right. So, Sorry, before we move on to Laura, so accessibility coordinator, that's a big, big word. Can you kind of tell us, it sounds a little obvious, but there's really a lot more to it. Yeah, there's a lot more to it. Uh, basically, my job is to make sure that uh, city services, programs, facilities, buildings, public areas are accessible to everybody. Uh, and that's the easy way of uh, describing it. Okay. Um, so it doesn't matter if you have a disability or not. So we try to make everything accessible. Of course, we have a long way to go, but... Uh, yeah. We're still working towards it. Uh, we're pretty much ahead of a lot of other municipalities, which is good in that scenario. But yeah, so that extends to every public space. It extends to every service program and even to the website. And there's only one of you? <laughs> I know. I know there's a lot. Uh, you and I have talked several times, Dale, so I know you do a lot, and, and it's appreciated for by many, so uh, thanks for that. Um, Laura, let's move over to you. Tell everybody uh, who you are. I am the city's age-friendly coordinator. I am taking over this project from Dale, who's worked on it for several years now. As you've already mentioned, he has a very big portfolio, so I think he's happy to hand part of this over to me to uh, take over and run with a little bit further. I, I would say by the smile on his face, he would agree with you. <laughs> and uh, I, many people, like I'm on the age friendly committee, people don't necessarily know that. So I'm, and there's there's like eight subcommittees that go along with this age friendly initiative. Uh, I know we're all grateful that you're here too, because you're taking a load from so many. So thanks for that. Absolutely. So who wants to start? Let's talk about what age friendly is and some of the elements, and then we can we can move into uh, transportation day. So age friendly Sarnia is committed to helping people to age actively in the city, and that means supporting them in a whole number of ways. You've mentioned that we have eight subcommittees that are each working on a different aspect of life. Um, we have housing, transportation. You're on the communication committee. Uh, Dale heads up outdoor spaces. He also heads up transportation. We have respect and social participation. And each of these committees has a certain part of the age-friendly action plan that they're working on. So this was developed several years ago as part of a research project with Lambton College. There are 42 action items. We are, we've divided them amongst the committees and each committee is working on implementing those. Um, and we're here today to talk to you a little bit more about transportation in particular and one of those action items. Yeah. Wow. You, you, uh, I don't, I'm not sure that I could have listed off all the eight elements. I might've had to think about it. So you definitely, you. what's that? I think I missed a few. Oh, okay. I, I would have had it in front of me, but, and I still would have got it wrong. So good for you for knowing all that. It's, it's really, um, uh, you know, age friendly. I think 
when I first introduced that, I say that, you know, and we've had this discussion of what does that mean exactly? This is uh, for older folks typically, or is this everybody? Well, I think it would be everybody. I think a lot of the older folks, um, people who are aging, uh, would benefit mostly, but it is for everybody because you start aging the time you're born. And uh, by adding things like ramps and um, uh, through the information and communication, uh, large fonts and things like that, everybody benefits from stuff like that. So yeah. it is uh, definitely for every single person. Yeah, well, it makes sense because, I mean, even my children who are 18, they're, they're growing and they're eventually going to need all this stuff. It's all going to come together, right? Um, where, where, does, where does the Age-Friendly Initiative come from? Is this, uh, this is part of the World uh, Health Organization involved in this too? That's correct. So they started their initiative in 2010, and they've been um, setting examples for other communities to follow. We recently were accepted into their network of age-friendly communities, so we're, we're very excited about that. Yeah, and and let's uh, let's put it out there too that this is uh, this is a Sarnia initiative as well. Like the city of Sarnia has approved all of this. Is that right? Is that how that works? Yeah. So back in two thousand and fifteen, we applied for a grant through the provincial government and received that to start the, as Laura already talked about the um, research phase. And I think you had Matt Hutchinson on before for some of your viewers who may have seen that one. Yep. Um, who talked about the research phase for age friendly. So we did a bunch of research and now we're in an implementation stage. So like Laura said before, uh, uh, through uh, we were happy to get another grant through the province um, and that's paying for us to implement the uh, age friendly action plan, which was endorsed by Sarnia City Council in 2017. Right. With all these, uh, uh, which is fantastic, uh, it, with all of these committees, this takes a lot of people and a lot of volunteers to to sit on these committees to, I mean, you know, you mentioned Matt Hutchison and yourself and I mean, all the research and the survey was, was a lot of effort went into this. This isn't this. I'm putting this out there because I want the viewers, especially here in Serena, to understand that this isn't just a little committee that decided to do something and, and, and say this is how it is. This is supported by the city, the World Health Organization. There's a lot of people and a lot of people that in our community that make this work, right? Yeah, so there's about 75 people on all the committees uh, and there's about 35 organizations. So it's probably the biggest uh, social uh, program that the city of Sony has uh, undertaken. So it's it's pretty large like there's a lot of people involved and there's a lot of um everything's turning at once that's why we have a coordinator because uh she <laughs> she definitely uh is the person that is leading that and uh having everything kind of happening all at once she she is the person that makes that all work together making sure all of the committees are informed about what the other committees are up to making sure that city hall knows exactly what's going on it is a big project. There are lots of moving pieces for sure. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, one of the things I noticed just being, being on the, the two committees, uh, um, it, there's a lot of the people that are involved in all these committees. Um, and I, I guess I really noticed it when we had a big gathering that one day and all the committees came together and even myself being involved, I was like, wow, I didn't know there was this many people involved. And I had no idea that person that I knew, was involved and you know people with all kinds of different backgrounds from you know from the medical field to the media field to everything that that takes these eight elements to work to make uh, age friendly Sarnia be as successful and and honestly it's moved rather quickly and and the support has been fantastic would you agree with that yeah for sure uh, it's moving quicker now that Laura's here but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, for sure, it is moving uh, real quick, and a lot of we're we're accomplishing a lot real quick, too. So there's a lot of things happening, like the transportation day that's coming up. Uh, we have a lot of events, other events that we can talk about too today, if you want to. Yeah, uh, coming up. So uh, there's a lot of things that are definitely going on, and uh, it's thanks to our hardworking volunteers on these committees. Yeah. And, uh, well, we keep saying Laura, like we know who the real boss is now, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Laura, what what was it about Age Friendly? I know, like you recently, like it's just been a few months now, I guess, that you you, you came on as a coordinator. What yes, was it? What? Yeah, right. What was it about Age Friendly Sarnia that uh, attracted you to be a part of it? Well, I think more than anything, it was just a chance to make our city a better place to live. Yeah. I certainly know that I always have my parents in the back of my mind when I'm talking about any age friendly initiative down the road. These everything that we do will benefit me one day too, but certainly my parents are right there all of the time. I keep them in mind. Yeah. Um, I want to make this a great city for us to live in. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the things that are happening, I mean, the awareness is a big part of, of, you know, what age friendly is working on right now to get out there. And I know one of the conversations was access to information. Um, and you know, this new technology world or maybe not so new to you and I, but very new to many, uh, who, that's a big part of it all. What's 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 is that the biggest challenge is getting this word out there about all these different elements? Well, I think there's a lot already going on in our city. I think there's no question about that, that there's a lot of service already offered and people just don't always know exactly what's going on. So that has been a big part of it. Bringing the right people to the table, learning exactly what's available and connecting all the dots for, for everyone. Yeah, because a lot of the services that, that we're talking about or things going on are um, until something happens to you. You, you don't think about it, right? You don't go, you know, like my, my dad has Alzheimer's. So, I mean, I was like, oh, when that happened, what do we, it, okay, there's the Alzheimer's Society, but what else out there is there for, you know, his wife that looks after him and, and transportation and all that sort of stuff, right? So, um, so that, that's how we, that's one of the reasons why we're having this transportation day. Um, yeah. All this Saturday, 10 to 2 out in the Canadian Tire parking lot. One of the issues that people face is what happens when I lose my license? Yeah. What is available out there for me? How do I get around? So that was why we wanted to host this day to bring everyone together to know what the transportation options are that are available out there. Yeah. And, and sorry, go ahead, Dale. That leads to other health concerns, right? So if somebody loses their license and they, they don't know what to do and they don't have transportation, um, are they going to become isolated in that situation, mm -hmm. right? We don't want people to become isolated and then their health deteriorates from there. So uh, transportation is one of the leading things that we're hoping that uh, people will come out and be more aware of what's, what their options are on uh, this Saturday. Well, it's good to have a lot of different options, like you mentioned, because uh, we don't want people to be isolated. And, and everybody certainly got a different situation. You know, I'm fortunate that, you know, my father still, his wife's there to look after him. But she's getting older too, right? So she might not always be able to do that. But some people don't have anybody around or they don't have the, the, the daughter or the son. Uh, my mother lives down the street from me. She still calls me, but if it's a, to bring her stuff, but if I wasn't around, how do people, you know, get their, their basic needs even, you know, like toothbrushes and toothpaste and how do I get my groceries and, and all that sort of stuff. So what kind of, what, what kind of options are we going to be seeing there this week? Uh, who's there going to be there? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, we don't have a list right here, but we can <laughs> talk generally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lambton Elderly Outreach and Shine at Home will be there. They help people get to their appointments. Um, Sarnia Transit will be there. We'll have a bus on hand. We're going to be talking about the new transit app. That's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. We'll be talking about biking and e-biking. E-biking will be there for sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, the new uh, bike lanes. So we'll have a representative there talk about the bike lanes and transportation in Sarnia. So the transportation manager will be there too. Laura and I will be there to talk about age friendly. So absolutely, yeah. And I know we have the, a sorry. Go ahead. There. We have a number number of different uh, groups that will be there. Yeah. China. Well, and speaking of uh, starting your transit, uh, you mentioned the and I, I his name slips me, but uh, I know that they they've got some new routes in plan. Is that right? So they'll be probably talking about that or sharing that information and. Uh, I talked to somebody the other day. He was like, I didn't know I could put my bicycle on the front of a bus. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's been around for a bit. So, yeah. right. So, this is one a good, the, this is, sorry, go ahead, Laura. I was just going to say one of the new transit uh, changes is that the bus now stops right in front of the Strangway Center. So, yep. that was feedback that Sarnia Transit received. And we are so happy that they've been able to make this change because we want people to be able to get out to do activities. And that, that's kind of, uh, that's part of the accessibility thing too, right? This all kind of works together, right? Is that right, Dale? And activity, walkability, yes, that is a big part of my job. Yeah. I'm interested to uh, uh, hear more about, I bought an e-bike. <laughs> no 
Yeah, I did. I did. I got an e-bike. But um, there's some confusion there. I, I was told that uh, you're not allowed to ride your e-bike in the bicycle lanes. But then I saw something put out that says, yes, you can. So I got to get there to try to figure out. Because I don't want the guy giving me the ticket. <laughs> no, we actually have a, a new, well, it's not released yet. But we're going to be releasing soon. It's going to be an information educational pamphlet, um, postcard type of thing, where it's going to let people know where they can use their different devices such as an e-bike or a wheelchair or a bicycle like there's it can be confusing sometimes so hopefully sure. this new education piece we made it uh really easy to see, uh, look at and understand and hopefully that will help yeah so that, that can be age friendly too yeah well, well i would think even just as someone who drives a car like when the bike lanes first come out i think there's a lot of confusion there people were like well i can't go in that lane or can I, or what's the green mean or what's the pink mean? And, you know, like it's all new, right? So this is a good opportunity for people to uh, come out and uh, meet your smiling faces and learn more about what you guys do and, and more about the transportation. I think it's great. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Stay out of the pink lanes. That's for sure. Stay out of the pink lanes. Yeah. <laughs> I try to stay out of the ditch too, but uh, <laughs> you never know what uh, e-bikes, e it's a new experience riding an e-bike. I just got to say that. All right. Uh, anything before I wrap up and let you go uh, that you want to add in? Maybe I'll just do a quick pitch that a little later on in the fall, uh, Wednesday, November 21st, we have our Age Friendly Summit coming up. Okay. Um, we'll be released about that, but we are very excited to update the community on how far we've come on the action plan and what we still have planned for Age Friendly Sarnia moving forward. Perfect. So, and thank you again for last minute coming together. And now that you know how to do this, you're professionals yep. at it. We'll have you back to talk about the summit. Perfect. Sounds good. Thanks very much, David. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. Once again, Dale Mosley and Laura Greaves joining us from the City of Sarnia talking about Transportation Day, uh, an initiative from Age Friendly Sarnia, which I'm happy to be a part of. And it is fantastic that Laura has come on board to talk to us uh, or, or to support us and be a, the Age Friendly Coordinator for the City of Sarnia. She brings a lot of skills uh to uh, the Age Friendly Initiative in City Sarnia. And Dale does a fan. He really does. He has a little office. He works really hard and makes this all come together too. So thanks to both. And you can get out and enjoy Transportation Day once again coming up this Saturday, September the 22nd. They will be at the Lampton Mall in the Canadian Tire parking lot from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. So take an opportunity to find out more about Age Friendly. All right, getting ready to move on to my next guest. You know, there's uh, lots of things to do in Sarnia and lots of things to support. And uh, Cecile Robb is here, and she's going to talk to us about a special event. In fact, it's a special event for the ladies. Uh, I'm probably going to be the only guy in the room that day. Ladies Fall Expo. And uh, we're going to talk about that. Cecile is coming up here right about now. Hey, Cecile, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Dave. How are you? Fantastic. I appreciate yeah. you being here and you're doing, sure. you, you got this all worked out. No problem. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> well, we got you through it. You know, I, and I appreciate that because uh, uh, it's a, it's kind of a new thing, a new way. You would typically yeah. expect a guy like me to show up with a microphone in hand, but uh, you did it. So congratulations on that. Yeah. Well, I was the only one not at the meeting that night, right? You don't remember me because yeah, I wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, That's the last time I'm missing a meeting. <laughs> yeah, well, the they're, now, they're in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and they said, oh, Cecile, you get to do this thing. And you were like, oh, okay. And then you went, oh, I got to do what? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we'll it's keep all it, good. We'll keep it nice and casual here. So you're at, uh, you're at your shop right now, right? I am, yeah. And this yes, is I My am. Secret Garden. My Secret Garden Flower Shop, yeah. Okay, and uh, to go ahead and tell everybody where you're located. Uh, we're on 1362 Lampton Mall Road, right across from uh, Lampton Mall, next to Ovation Shoes and okay. uh, Dulux. Yeah. yeah. How, long, how long have you uh, been in business here? How long have you been doing this? Uh, almost 25 years, coming up wow. soon. Yeah, yeah it's Good been a long you. time. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thanks. So Thank now you. you've, you've got the, uh, the Ladies Fall Expo. We do. Yeah. And how many years you've been doing this now? Uh, this is going to be our 13th year. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So how yeah. did this get started for you? Well, uh, we were down in London one day and just happened to be at an expo there. Lorraine and I, Lorraine's over here. I might okay. call her over in a minute. Sure. Anyway, yeah, Lorraine and I were down at the expo in London and we thought, you know, there is so much that 
the businesses in Sarnia have to offer. Now, this was 13 years ago. There were a lot of businesses then. Yeah. So we thought, let's get this started and keep the people in Sarnia rather than going down the highway or over the bridge. Keep them in Sarnia. Show them what we have to offer because there hadn't been anything like that in the area at that point. So anyway, we had an expo. Well, I mean, it was, we filled the room in no time at all. It was fabulous. We had a great time. Uh, and we've continued since then. Yeah. Yeah, just well, off, go ahead. Oh, I just, uh, we have changed our uh, charities a couple of times. But right. uh, yeah, we always make sure that there is a charity that uh, receives uh, a nice amount. Yeah, okay. But this is, uh, this year's for Noel's Gift. Yeah. And you've done this for how many years for them now? Uh, Noel's Gift, it is, uh, this is our third year. Uh, yeah. Now, my nephew is Ron Rive, which most everybody in Sarnia knows. And so we needed the MC at that time. So I said to Ron, would you be our MC? Well, you know, Ron, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm there for you. So he said, but I'm going to ask you one thing. And I said, what's that? And he says, change it to Noel's gift. And I said, that's what you want. That's what we'll do. Well, it's been great. So we're leaving it at that uh, to honor his memory. So yeah, yeah Ron perfect. isn't with us anymore. Yes. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. It's fantastic. Uh, there's always a personal connection in these things, right? You know, and uh, I, the, you know, Noel's gift, uh, and and they do so many things. Uh, you know, memory of Noel for sure to the, yeah. the, the children in our community. So, uh, and raised uh, where are we at millions of dollars by now, yeah. right? For yeah. for this community, so that's fantastic. Um, but it's Ladies Fall Expo, so this yeah. is all about this is all about the women, right? Like I say, yes. I'm going to be their broadcast. I'm going to be the only guy in the room, right? <laughs> there are a few men that come. Through. Or do you? Yeah, because yeah. their wives say you have to come help me. <laughs> is that right? Well, you know what? It is a ladies' <laughs> expo, but you're right. They come and help them at their yeah. booth. Yeah. Absolutely. What kind of? What kind of? How many vendors? Uh, you're still looking for vendors, though, right? You still got room yeah. for a few more. We do. We have just started. Uh, actually, we've taken on Stephanie Purdy. And I She's just awesome. thought, you know, uh, she is awesome. And I think with Steph by my side, we're going to really rock this room. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, yeah, no, we are looking for uh, vendors. Uh, we've just started in the last two weeks. And like I said, she's gone away. Now I'm going to be gone for a week and then I'll be back after that. But yeah, um, there's four of us that are on the committee and we keep it going. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, what kind of vendors are we uh, looking to see here? Like, what, like, can you give us an idea of? Yeah. Uh, right now we've got uh, Aya Frady. Uh, they do chiropractic. We have One Tooth, the girls from One Tooth. There's also going to be a fashion show from One Tooth. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Ovation Shoes are in, uh, Rustic Gate, um, we're in, <laughs> obviously. We usually put in a few tables because we have so <laughs> much to offer here. But yeah, there's uh, a lot of uh, direct sales too. Well, not a lot, but there are a few people that come in yeah. from direct sales. Sure. And But um, we really want to show what the Sarnia women have to offer. And there yeah. is a lot, yeah. I, you, you, I I think it's a fantastic idea, and and the fact that like was it always the ladies' expo or, or yep. yeah yep. okay so because uh, I've been involved in the business world too and self employment and stuff and one of the things that I've noticed is more and more women are in business for themselves than even 13 years ago right I mean it just yes. it's, a, it's it's almost like women in business is an industry in itself mm -hmm. um, it really. You guys are taking over, man. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. We're I mean trying. that in a good way. What do you? Yeah. What do you? What was it for you? Like you say, you've been in business for twenty-five years. Um, what did you do before that? Did you work somewhere? I was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. yeah, and and I just thought, you know what? I think I'd like to have a flower shop. Well, I didn't realize the work it involved, but you know what? I I wouldn't change it. No. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Were you scared? When no. you first started? No? <laughs> I was. No, I don't know why. I look back now and think, yeah, I should have been. But no, I wasn't. I just kind of went in there head first and off we went. Yeah. And the reason I ask is is I, I talk to, uh, well, I talk to, you know, I know lots of people. You know, you and I know a lot of the same people and uh -huh. conversations come up. And um, I think it, it, it starting a business can be scary and depending on your background. Like, And my wife, for example, she just started an eyelash business and... Boy, oh boy, it was nerve-wracking for her. She was just worried about, 
you know, is this thing going to work? And, and what if it doesn't work? And I always said, honey, don't worry about it. Uh, don't think about what if it, what if it doesn't work. Think about what if it does. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And it was, and you know what, you've got to feel that way. Cause if you ever think, Oh, well, it's, you know, what am I going to do if this fails? I never even, that never ever crossed my mind, I guess, you know, I had a good staff yeah. right from the beginning. So yeah. uh, actually one of them is still here. She's across the room there. She oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, that, she's like, if I come over there, he's going to tell you to put me on camera. Yes. Everybody's afraid of the camera. You're the brave one. Except you got voluntold, right? You didn't have a choice. I know. <laughs> what other, uh, what other kind of things can you tell us about that's going to be happening? Okay. we got the fashion show. we got vendors. Mm -hmm. What else is going on there? Uh, well, we do have uh, wine tasting and I do have to give a shout out to Glenn Fenwick. Um, yeah, he he uh, Stephanie got or Steph, I guess we call her Steph because we also have Stephanie Aiken. So Steph uh, got in <laughs> touch with him and um, he was right there. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. So we're really happy about that. Uh, what yeah. else do we have? Well, we do have the fashion show. We do have a little bit of entertainment, which is going to be a little unique this year. We've always oh. had entertainment. We don't tell anybody what it is. Um, anyway, it is going to be a little bit unique this year. It's going to be fun. Oh. Steph, yeah, Steph tease, tease, it, tease. <laughs> Steph's putting it together. So, uh, Steph Aiken yeah. or Steph Purdy? Steph Purdy. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to call. Well, you, I'm going to no. call her. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I have her number. I'm going to call her right now live. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Um, and wine tasting. Oh, the Dante also, they do have food there that night. So uh, right. if you come in, because it starts at four. So we have a lot of people come in, especially the vendors, right after work. People stopping on their way home from work. And there is food to purchase there. And it's at a good price. It is from the Dante Club. Um, so they have, last year they had uh, pastas, uh, the focaccia breads. Uh, they, they have wine too. So the, the bar is open. So women can purchase the wine or beer, whichever they like. Uh, yeah, so there is food. Um, yeah, so food, fashion, entertainment. I don't know what else you need. Wine. <laughs> Vendors, wine. The wine. wine's sticking out in my head for yes, some reason. wine. Oh, oh, Lorraine's saying we, yeah, get back here. Uh, yeah, we have door prizes too. So all the vendors okay. uh, do door prizes and we raise a lot of money. They bring fabulous. We're so proud of them. They bring fabulous, fabulous door prizes for people oh, to good. buy tickets on. Yeah. All that money goes to Noelle's gift again too. Um, yeah, so last year Peely Island gave us a weekend getaway. We also... Oh, my wow. uh, yeah, so my um, son-in-law works at the airport, so he gave a free flight lesson. Which, yeah, you got some cool stuff going on there. We got some cool stuff. I know. Yeah, that's fantastic. Do. Yeah, yeah. So, what is it? Is there is there a fee for people to come in, or is it donation, or how does that work? It's five dollars to get in. Okay. We started that because it gave us a better number than okay, how many people are coming? We have no idea. So. Sure. People buy tickets. A lot of people do buy tickets at the door, uh, but we have a pretty good idea of what we're going to get when they purchase the tickets. Now, all the vendors also get tickets too, which they can either give to a customer or they can sell to have, okay. help offset the price of their table. So, you know, if a vendor's feeling, it's 150 for a vendor, which we feel is a very good price. Oh, wow. uh, they get 10 tickets, $5 each. They can sell those to people that would like to come or, you know, whatever they choose to do. I'm excited that uh, I'm going to be there this year because I don't. Who knows what I'll discover? Um, as long as I, I I can't have the red wine until I'm done, though, right? Uh, you never know. <laughs> well, like if, if it's if it's just a taste test, you. that's okay. But I can't anyway. Yeah. I work for me, so I guess maybe I just got to behave. Uh, and, and I know I think Jennifer's going to come, and uh, I know there's going to be uh, you get great support for this, right? So that's we do the, the city yeah. of Sarnia is uh, so supportive, yeah. and uh, I'm sure I won't be the only guy in the room because I'm sure the wives that are going to this are probably telling their husbands yeah. they have to go too. So that's right. Uh, but yeah. they can they can go and hang out at the Donny Club too and yeah. have food and cash bar yeah. and all that stuff there. So that's, that's cool. right. That's right. right. Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah, Glenn yeah. Fenwick from Fenwick Motors. I know like he was all on board with this yeah. uh, and super excited to be a part of that. And we're actually going to be, uh, we're going to be doing something special for Fenwick Motors. We're going to make a video of them and we'll be promoting them and uh, we'll be talking more about them in the weeks to come as well. So that, it's, it's so great when you have that support, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Is it going to be in car karaoke? Um, I can't. It's a secret. <laughs> Do you know why it's a secret? Because I haven't just we haven't decided exactly oh. what we're doing. But that's not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, we're going to be driving in a new Subaru or something. They got this new cool Subaru. All right. Uh, probably won't put everything on camera. <laughs> <laughs> It goes really fast, apparently. I don't know. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sitting down with Glenn this week, so we'll figure that Good. out. But we're going to have fun for sure. We are. Absolutely. Right. Anything else you want to add before I, I, I let you go and move on? No, I was going to put my poster up there, but I see it's right there anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I've yeah. got it here, and uh, we're sharing that around. Yeah. Uh, Ladies Fall Expo mm -hmm. happening. Tell everybody when it's happening. It's October 24th at the Dante Club from 4 till 8. Or till late. Five, I'll be there the, I'm going to be there in the afternoon with the sneak preview behind the scenes. I'll be live down there uh, for a couple hours too. So looking forward to that. Awesome. And and they can come to, uh, you've got tickets there at My Secret yep. Garden? We do have tickets here. Yep. And okay. anybody and that uh, is into, which we're going to post on Facebook, who is in there. As soon as Steph gets back, she's more into that than we are. So she'll start Start posting who's in there, and you can go to those uh, those businesses and pick up your tickets there. Okay, great. Well, we got your website yeah. up there if people want to find out more. And right uh, you can also go to Ladies Fall Expo on Facebook and get all the information uh, for that as well. Cecile, thanks so much. By the way, Thank say you. hi to Mike for me. Will do. All right. Okay. Take care. Uh, okay. Cecile Rob from My Secret Garden talking about the Ladies Fall Expo coming up October the 24th here at the Donnie Club in Cernia. And they've invited me to uh, be there and uh, do some broadcasting for them, help promote the event. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you know, wine tasting. What else do you need? Fashion show. Come on. It's going to be a good time. I got to find out where this entertainment is, though, but I don't, Cecile's not going to tell me. I don't know. She won't tell me. No, now Lorraine's, now she's checking in there. Now that we're not live, it's okay. You're not live anymore, but I can still see you. <laughs> the Ladies Fall Expo, once again, support of Noelle's gift. And uh, thanks again, Cecile, for joining us. All right, moving on to a different topic here now. Um, I'm excited to have this guy on here because this is another perfect example of how live streaming is connecting people and communities together. New friendships are being made. I've got a new friendship with this gentleman coming on here right now. Uh, Andrew, better known as the Punch Panda. How you doing? I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Are you muted somehow? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely at your end. Can't hear you. Hold on one sec. <laughs> I'm a lip reader now. <laughs> See, folks, I, I said this. You like it's live streaming. Things are gonna go wrong. The punch panda. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, so if you okay, here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm going to take yourself out of here and then come back in like you did and then click the little gear icon and maybe you have to check that setting for a different microphone. And uh, are you using OBS for your camera? Uh -oh. Do you have a, uh, oh, I can hear you now. Let's see. I hear you now. I no, can hear you. -uh. I can hear you. Let's see, microphone. I can hear you, but you can't hear me. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, right on. Dave, how are you, man? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I can hear you, Dave. I can hear you. Oh, my goodness. Professional live streamer. <laughs> it's okay. It it's works like a couple, it's a couple second place. Okay. So are you watching on Facebook or are you watching on the, in the, in the, don't watch on Facebook? Well, uh, what if, for whatever reason, whatever reason the, uh, it doesn't pick up my mic. I can hear you. Don't watch on Facebook. Okay, now I can't hear you. Yeah, you should be. You should be. Uh... 
Uh oh. It's now I can't hear you. Now you're gone. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know. Technical difficulties. I can hear you. We're gonna work this out, folks. That's now why I can't hear Dave. Uh oh, we did it, guys. Already, who else we got? He can hear me, but I can't hear him for whatever reason. Yeah, he can hear you, Andrew. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Live streaming at its finest, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we're gonna figure this out. We'll be right back. All right, we're trying again. Can you hear me? You, dude, I got you, Dave, loud and clear. We have figured it out. We have figured it it's out. That little, it was that little settings icon, wasn't it? Was, it? it was totally on my fault. It was totally on my part. That's okay. Well, I, you know, here's the thing is like this live streaming thing. It's a true test to – I know so many people who are afraid to go live because they're like, well, what if something goes wrong? Right. Something will go wrong every time we go live. Right, one hundred percent. Every time, never <laughs> fails. Whether whether Google updated, Microsoft updated, something happened. That's right. So that's right for sure. Well, we got you here now. That's fantastic. That, that's the best. Andrew, uh, you know, at the start of it all, you know, you heard me sort of saying how uh, live streaming connects people, and and one of my visions has been to connect with my show communities around the world, and and now here you and I are. We met on Twitch. And here we are talking to each other. And who knows who you're going to meet from all of this, right? That's right. This is a perfect example. Yeah. What is it? What is it about? Uh, is that is that part of what got you interested in live streaming? Or I guess how long have you been live streaming now? Okay. So on the Twitch live streaming platform, I have been streaming for just, I want to say, just under two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to jump in and do that? Um, okay. So my, I, I, I love playing video games. It's been a big passion of mine and everything. And uh, one of those times where, you know, someone was like, hey, you know, you probably should get up and go do something or you should go do something like this. And I was like, oh, I just love playing video games. This is what I want to do. Um, and I met so many people on it and I just have so much fun. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, what, how can I get this? How can I show other people, you know, uh, either my content or how my, I'm going to call it skills for lack of a better, you know, name sure. for it. Um, and so other people can play, you know. And then I ended up watching live streamers. I was like, hey, you know what? I can do this. I, th oh, yeah. I think I could do this. You know, you used to start baby steps. And that's what happened. Um, I just yeah. I want to play video games for people. So, And you've yeah, grown and, and you're an affiliate now, right? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to get yeah. you yours. We're going to get you yours really quickly. I'm really close. I'm, I'm looking at the screen right here. I've been looking at it all day. I'm at 2.72. So tonight's going to happen. I that's think right. it's going to happen. Right. We'll, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. Right on. Well, this is the interesting thing too, you know, like, uh, I mean, I've been streaming for, 
uh, over seven years, right? You know, so I was I was in the streaming world before I actually went live, um, and and then I've grown to where it is now. But and now I've jumped into that esports arena as well, and and there's so I've met so many great people. Um, I mean, there's the Twitch world is really interesting too, right? Because it started as a gamers only uh, platform. I do believe it started Justin TV was yeah. the original platform. Yeah, that, that, you're right. You're right. And then, uh, and of course, Amazon owns Twitch now, but um, they've opened the doors or the gates, if you will. To it used to be you had to game and that was all you could do. Now right. you can do talk shows. You can do anything you want, basically. Music. Within- if you bang on a drum in the subway, stream it. That's right. Oh, well, someone That's, wants to watch it. Yeah. There's 140 million people on Twitch and and I don't know how many billion on YouTube. Right. Um, but Twitch is is headed in that direction. So would you say now timing's everything with this, right? Oh, 100%. 100%. The um when when a new game comes out and this is this is a whole marketing standpoint. You could be uh, a gamer that just wants to play a couple of video games here and there and you just want people. But if you're if you look at it from a marketing standpoint, uh, for instance, uh, we were just playing Black Ops uh, for the blackout mode for that with a battle royale. Yeah, uh, that game isn't released yet, but you want to be uh, someone to come in and play that game and show people, hey, this game is going to be great. Let me show you why. Boom, here's my Twitch. You know, let, yeah. me, sh- let me show you why I'm going to pay fifty nine ninety nine for this game, one hundred and thirty dollars for the deluxe edition. What are you yeah. getting? Marketing, marketing, man. Yeah. Well, and and let's that's those that's on the big scale. You know, we talk that's battle.net and you know we got Steam and all that stuff. I've been uh with my Twitch, uh I've been playing some of the free stuff, but um there's a lot of independent developers out there too. Do you do you tend to go to some of those guys as well, or are you just into the the big the big like the black ops and the Fortnite and all that? I'm a big fan of shopping locally. So if yeah. there's a if there is a smaller a uh, new d- game developer that's coming out and he says, Hey man, I want, I want you to try this game for me. Okay. Let's see what it's like. You know, uh, black squad. We met on black squad playing that. Yeah. Um, that, I love I mean, that, that game. That, I that, suck it, at it. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> it, 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 and it's such a, it's such a good game. And I think it's very underrated, uh, not as populated as other first person shooter games, but I have so much fun and the community is great. Yeah, I, I've, uh, you know, well, that's how we met. Like I say, we played Black Squad. For those of you who don't know, it's a multiplayer shoot each other up kind of game. Um, and I found these guys playing it. I don't even know how. I think I was just browsing. I think it was totally by accident. And there it was. And then we started talking and they were like, hey, do you want to join us? And I'm like, I suck. And they're like, we don't care. <laughs> and, no, and then, no, we take we take all of them, man. We and here we are them. now, right? But I guess what I'm getting is this. Okay, so the gaming world is not quite, but it's it's a billion dollar industry right now. But it's about to become a trillion with a T industry. I'm gonna say the uh, fastest growing industry. Yeah. I, I'm willing to say the like confidently the fastest growing industry right yeah. now. And we have, as you know, I've talked to you a little bit about here at our, our at Lampton College. We have an esports and entrepreneurship program. Um, and when I, when I tell people like my son's taking the program and they say, Oh, what's your son taking? And I say, esports and gaming. And they're like, huh? you know, confused, <laughs> confused canine. Just it's like basket weaving. No. Right. You know, it's That's like, right. no, this, it's not though. This is, there's the broadcasting side. There's the gaming side. There's the marketing, there's the development. There's all these things that go together that make it a billion dollar industry. Um, what's, what's your goal out of all this? And, and, and let's take that answer and lead into a uh, storm crow. All right. So my, my goal, uh, independent as a person, um, and, and this is everything my, my, I'm going to call my end game for my gamers out there is I want to build a facility one day that will educate and give children, kids, teenagers, preteens, anyone in school, a safe space to do their homework, focus on their education and then play video games, you know, educate them that, hey, you know, there's something else out there. Once you've exhausted all your resources, here we are. Here's a new outlet. Check this out real quick. See what yeah. you can do here. And that's that's my goal is to just create that safe haven, uh, a good community where everyone is, you know, taken into consideration and shown support of some sort. Yeah. So. Well, you're on the right track for that. I mean, like I say, the, the, our college is doing a program on it. We have an esports arena that has 22 computer units in it, and there are e varsity teams all over the world. 
mm -hmm. universities and colleges and and this is i'm and and big sponsor like we're talking millions of dollars of of scholarship money uh, if you're if you're really good enough you can get sponsored your excuse me get sponsored yourself are you are you looking to become that pro gamer uh, i am I'm, I'm, that's another one of my things that i eventually want to come into is is not only with my team but as a, an individual if i'll tell you right now here's something i remember and someone someone told me one day was if you're better than you were yesterday you're on the right track to being a pro gamer right on you know those shots that you didn't hit yesterday and you hit them today guess what you're succeeding so don't don't ever be down on yourself about well, you know i i can attest to that because when i first played fortnite i really sucked <laughs> oh, oh uh, I, st I still suck but i don't suck as bad <laughs> that that's one game that's one game that i can't say that i'm like oh i can just jump in and be good yeah. at it you know, it takes a little bit of practice and as the game develops and you know more stuff comes into it uh, there's some person sitting in a chair me you you know tom harry whoever and they're like, oh, you know, this shotgun shoots faster than this shotgun. I'm going to use both of them. You know, there's <laughs> yeah. so everything changes. So one day I'm, playing, you I'm playing World of Warships right now. I don't know. If I love that game. It. I got a, I got a buddy that plays it actually that, that uh, plays on the same team as I do. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, really? You're playing it? So well, good. There, we got to hook that up, too, because I'm I'm loving it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's and he's, cool. he's really good, man. I, he's, he's an awesome dude. Right on. What What is it for you? Um, that, that keeps you going in this. And the reason I'm the way, let me kind of add part two to that question. People are probably sitting back on, how do you make money at this? Especially mm -hmm. on Twitch. Maybe you could describe a little bit uh, as an affiliate, how you profit from this. Um, so any, anyone who comes to my stream hits that follow button. That's, that's a profit to me, but in a, in a, in a general spectrum, there's, you got follows, subscriptions, donations via, you know, PayPal, anything like that. So those do come in by the grace of some people, you know, that are, that are awesome in the community that are like, Hey man, I want to, you know, keep up the good work. You know, here's a tip. If you're a bartender, here's a tip. If you're yep. LA, here's a tip. Same basic concept. You know, Hey, I was trying to do this. Thanks for the information. Here's a tip. Yeah. Same basic concept. Um, subscriptions, $4.99, uh, $9.99, and $24.99 a month. You get uh, certain unlockables in someone's uh, stream, whether it be an emo, a sub badge. And these people carry these chains. These these community members carry these chains for, you know, 24 months, three three years, you know, on yeah. and on and on. And they're just so – just collective goodness that helps a streamer or a content creator out. Yeah. So that's what it is. That's how you make your money on that one. And – it's just, it's just good gracious of good people, you know? Yeah. It's, it's been an interesting concept to me, you know, and, and I, you know, I've been familiar with it for quite some time, but when I, until I really started getting active in my channel, I really didn't real like, wow, what a concept. People are just handing, they're going, oh, I like what you do. Here's a tip. Here's a tip. They're giving you money for doing what you love, right? If I, if I would make you a good beverage, Dave, as a bartender, and you're like, man, I didn't think to add Coca-Cola in that. I just gave you an idea, you know? Yeah. I right. good ideas. I mean, it's yeah, I got my first tip the other day. I was really excited. I was like, wow, it was $2 and 49 cents. But I was like, <laughs> that is like, that was like a million dollars to me at that moment. Right. I'm so, telling you, I got my first tip was a dollar. Yeah. And it, it was, it might've been a million. It should have been a million dollars for me. I, I yeah. was the happiest person in the world. What about, uh, and wh where are you just to give everybody an idea? I am in a, uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I don't, I don't know where I'm at. Thank gosh. Um, I'm on like, I want to say somewhere in Alabama. That's all I can tell you. I can't okay. give you the location. You're in Alabama. All right. <laughs> I'm in Alabama. It's warm where you are. Oh, yes. It's it's not warm like hot. It's warm like humid. Oh, yeah. And just, ugh, it's muggy and sweaty and gross. So that like, keeps you inside. What a, Let's talk about support from family because I know, like, uh, being a, a professional for years now at this, uh, I've had to have a lot of family support and belief behind me. Do you do you have that around you too? Um, I'm gonna I'll, I'll contest for a lot of things. I, uh, a lot of parent young parents and they see their kids playing video games. They're like, you know, you need to you need to not play video games. You need to go get a job or do something. You're not gonna, you know, yeah. I told my mom, oh, like maybe just about a year ago, give or take. I was like, Mom, look, I'm I'm streaming on Twitch. I'm, you know, I want to make something of myself. I want to do it, you know? Yeah. And she goes, Oh, show me what it is. And now I'm gonna call my mom a believer, uh, because she's a, a subscriber to my channel. So yes, I, I, I do have <laughs> I do have the family back uh, you know, supporting yeah. me. So yes, I do. It's, it's a, all it's also her birthday, so happy birthday, mom. 
Oh, right on, Mom! Happy birthday! She would she be out there watching then? Probably. Oh, or? she is. Oh, she is. I'm she sure she is. is. And you got uh, who's James? Is that a brother? James is my little brother. Speaking of family, that is actually my little brother. All right, hey James, right on. Does does he stream too or? Uh, he does a little bit. I try to get him into it. Uh, he plays a lot of 2K, like basketball games and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That. And uh, what about, are you married or what are you? Uh, yes. Uh, my wife, actually, she pl she plays video games. I, I, I got lucky on this one. Uh, my mother, or not my mother, my wife plays video games. She likes Skyrim and stuff like that. Uh, I'm also going to eventually get her into streaming as well. Oh, okay. Nice. Right on. Who's Cynthia? That's my mother. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom. Hi, Dude, Mom. We're, we're going to put her name in lights now. There she is. Mom's showing the love and support. That's, that's fantastic. It's important to have that, right? Uh, let's talk a little bit. Uh, we got a couple more minutes. We started late, so we'll go late. Okay. Um, let's talk a little more about Storm Crow. How did, what is that all about? This is, I, I want to call it a family owned and operated because I think of Storm Crow as our family, you know, as family. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, our owners, managers, everything. It's just built like a business. What it is, is we're, we're putting together uh, professional, like professional level uh, competitive teams uh, all throughout first person shooters, RPG, stream teams, stuff like that. Uh, we do have uh, like, you know, sponsors, stuff like that. Um, but what we're trying to do is put these teams together and take them to the next level. Okay. Give them a foundation to show them what it's like uh, to be, you know, I guess coached and operated and played with by a esports team. Okay, nice. So it's a good group of uh, individuals. It's everyone's so supportive of each other. Uh, we're always getting together, talking, and you know, just having a good time. Uh, they started out as over uh, playing Overwatch when it. Oh, okay. I haven't played that one yet. It, it's a, it's a good game. It's it's a really good game. It's it, I'd say probably the most fun as a first person shooter that I've had playing. Oh, so. okay. Well, I'll have to check it out. I'm gonna end up buying all these games. <laughs> I'm, you, I'm gonna sell you on everything. I should I should have been I should have been a a, a GameStop sales representative. I promise you. Well, that's any, any you, games you, 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 you kind of are right. Like I mean, that's that's one of the ways too as a streamer that, that you can if you can get those sponsorships to promote their product, right? They'll that's right at, at the bottom of the screen. Like if you like people were like, hey, look at the bottom of the screen. If you play like Rainbow Six and games like that, it's down there. I mean, you can buy this game because of you know said person streaming. Yeah. Yeah. And you get that there, you do get a percentage of that. So yeah, yeah. So you're like an affiliate, mm -hmm. right on. So how does uh, somebody get to be a? a the, can anybody join Storm Crow, or do, how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm not gonna say anybody or everybody. Uh, there is like a, a, a recruitment program that we do. Uh, there's a Twitter link. There's all kinds of links that uh, you know on social media, Instagram at you know Storm Crow Esports. E e yep. Uh, you can go there, find the links. You can get in the Discord. And say, hey, this is who I am. You want to check me out? You know that kind of stuff. So, you know, we we don't we don't just go. You know, er, no, no. We right. actually will we'll so look at I you. So I could be a, could I could be a member? You you can come in and be a member. Absolutely, Dave. Oh boy, oh boy. We I we could. have a stream. We have a stream team too, which is really cool. So it's not just games. It's you know you can sing, you can make bracelets, you can do whatever you want. You could be a stream team member. Oh, okay, so, I got you. So there's so just I an application. A, I could be a stream team member as the, sh the guy that does the show. That's right. That's right. Right. And do I have to stream to Twitch? No, you don't. We actually have other, there's other platforms, uh, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch itself. Uh, we actually have okay. players on everything as, uh, as far as I know. Well, it's it's it only continues to grow. I know I've streamed on Facebook, and uh, but I'm going to start doing some of my. Talk. I'm creating a talk show for Twitch specifically, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll I'll have to talk to you about for that. This is exciting times, right? And I'm so glad that you and I, uh, your Punch Panda TV on Twitch. Yes, sir. We've got that up on the screen. So if you want to have some fun, if you're a gamer, join them. And if you don't know what this is all about, and you're going, what's this gaming thing? Go follow them and check it out anyway. You just might be surprised how uh, much addictive fun I call it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It, is, it is very addicting. It is very addicting. Awesome. And another thing to check out, one thing before you, you know, sure. is to check out Twitch analytics. Like you said, you you know you're this close to being an affiliate. Um, go out and look at the very bottom of the page, and it tells you where your viewers are and um, where they're from. Like oh, country-wise. It, it does. Twitch it does? It does. Yes, sir. So a lot of mine, I get people from Germany, you know, London and Israel and all kinds of countries, different countries. Where do I find and, that? Uh, it should be under your dashboard, under your um, 
direct to, oh oh analytics channel mm -hmm. oh there's a new one i never checked that out oh there it is holy crap so yeah it's all down there underneath your analytics like what what percentage oh, is coming cool. from what country so it's really cool because you get to see how many people from where and stuff i mean i've reached people from israel like i said you know russia everywhere everyone wants to play video games and i think that's going to be our coming together well, it's, it'll definitely, it definitely, it's like a universal language. It's kind of like music, right? Everybody, you know, it speaks to so many people. So uh, a headshot is the new hurt, shot heard around the world. 100%. Yeah. There, you go. there you go. Michael and Marissa Patrick. Who's that? Is that That's another streamer. Uh, my, uh, Marissa and Michael. They're, uh, they're actually my real friends from West Virginia. Okay. And they, uh, they're streaming now too. So, and they're, they do IRL streams and Michael and Marissa both play uh, Fortnite as well. All right on. Right on. So where you are, how close would I, I can look at a map, but I don't have one in front of me. Um, how close would you be to Louisiana? I'm next door. Really? I can drive to uh, New Orleans from here. We're going to West Lafayette. Okay. I know where that's at. Or we're going to Lafayette, Louisiana. I don't know if it's West or whatever, but Lafayette. I had, I had some people come. To, I actually, I'm, I actually work as a valet, so, you know, tips all around, bro. But um, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, um, I had people come down for the Louisiana State game. Uh, they played Auburn University, which okay. is here in Al uh, Alabama, and they were like, "I'm from Lafayette." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Right on. So, how how long of a drive would it how how long would it take you to get there? Say probably an hour and a half, two hours, give or take. We're because we're going there in uh, December. Okay. We're, we're going to my boy's going to meet another friend, online friend that uh, he's known for four or five years, and we're that's our destination. We're stopping along the way to some stuff, but you never know. We might have to hook up. Um, if you're if you're in that area around the end of November and December, uh, in Atlanta, DreamHack is the uh, North America's largest land party. Oh wow! Well, we're going. It's December fourteenth to the twenty third. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. There's some more networking going on. I'm so glad that I was able to get you on here, Andrew. And uh, I'm excited for what you're doing with Storm Crow. And I know you got some big goals there. And I, you're, you're going to get there. Just keep Thank going. You, and I'm looking forward to hopefully someday being able to kick your butt in anything. <laughs> hey, once, once you once you pull out the AK-47s in, in that game, man, you know, you'll get it. It's all, all right. meta. It's all meta, brother. When, when's the next time you're streaming? I will be streaming tonight. Uh, I'm going to say... Probably within the next four hours, my time. So it's okay. three forty-three. So I get about six or seven. What, what time is it where you're at right now? Three forty-three. Yes, okay, sir. so I'm an hour ahead of you. All right. Well, eight o'clock Eastern. I'll be live too. So I hope you be around for that. Uh, we'll, Thanks. We'll be there, man. Thanks so much, and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll be talking some more, my friend. Thank you for having me, Dave. Cheers. All right. Well, there you go, Andrew, joining us from Alabama, right? All the way from Alabama. Here's that whole connecting our communities together. Uh, Storm Crow Esports is his group, and he's got many team members on there helping him out. They've got some merchandise, too. It's uh, pretty cool-looking stuff here. Let me show that uh, one more time. That's fantastic. Following, you know, big dreams. That's awesome. And uh, Andrew and I are becoming good friends. There's some other guys in the group. It's quite a community, the gaming community. Uh, and like any community, there's good and there's bad. There's mostly good, though, right? You just got to surround yourself with the right people. Uh, wow, we had a great show. A couple of technical difficulties, but have I had a show that doesn't have that yet? It's okay. We just keep going around here, right? And I want to say thanks to all of you for joining me. Uh, and thanks to all of my guests. Thank you so much to Laura Greaves and Dale Mosley, who very last minute that we had a change there, uh, was able to come on and uh, join us. Talk about Age Friendly and the Transportation Day that is coming up this Saturday the September the 22nd from 10 till 4 at the Lampton Mall here in Sarnia. And then we also had Cecile Robb uh, talking to us about the Ladies Fall Expo on October the 24th in support of Noelle's Gift. Many, many vendors going to be there. They've still got room for a few more, uh, so you can check that out if you're interested. And, then, of course, my friend Andrew. I, I don't know, It's Punch Panda to me, Andrew. Uh, Punch Panda. Check them out on Twitch, Punch Panda TV for sure. And I'll be live streaming tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern as well. Um, if you enjoyed the show, do me a favor and down below, put a 10 in the comments. 10 in the comments if you love the show. If you didn't like the show, don't do anything. Um, and if you're watching the replay, just type replay down there below. We appreciate the replay as well. And thanks so much, everybody. Once again, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend, and I will see you next time right here on the show live. Bye for now.